Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. It's reaction time. Yes, it is, man. We got the final episode yes. Squid of Squid Game. Game. This has been one crazy adventure, different yeah. journey Facts. of death. Yep. <laughs> Consequences, repercussions, man, betrayal. You, betrayal. You love somebody, love, you hate them. All, that, all the things. Episode 8 really yeah. hurt my soul. That was tough. That was that out of all the episodes, episode, man. I was salty. I at, was. I, I was. Bro, out of all the episodes, I'm a very, I'm very lenient. I'm logical. Yeah. But that episode right there just pissed me off and hurt my feelings. I, I need some combat in this finale. Yeah, I, I need something. I need, I I need, need some something. battling. I need to laugh. Yeah, that too. <laughs> man, it was just so much. But like, I, I need payback though, more than anything. Brother versus brother. Yeah. And then that whole scenario. Uh, uh, anyway. Storm, yeah, Storm Shadow. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> Hey, that was that, tight. That was cool. <laughs> Cobra. Shout out to The Rock. Yep. All right, so uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into Squid Games. Yes. Episode 9. One lucky day. The season finale. Yes. Let's get it. Welcome. This scene right here reminds me some for some reason about John Woo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm expecting a, a shootout or something. Some pigeons flying everywhere. Shootout or something. If I cry, man, don't judge me. Of course not. I feel it. Among all the games that kids played back then, it was the most physical and violent. So any kind of violence is allowed. Sure, there are no restrictions. There's some John Woo stuff right here, bro. They saw. Mm -hmm. Only been missing sunglasses. Key and peel. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. I like the fact that they're old enough to know this game. I love it. Let's <laughs> go. on one foot. The attacker is given a handicap. He can only hop on one foot until he crosses the squid's neck. Oh, so the defender tries to block him? Yes. That's the first challenge of this game. Take down this Raja Margush. Good strategy. Oh, man, what's up? Ooh. See, there's some John Woo stuff right here, bro. Mm -hmm. Started raining and junk. Squid game, hard boil. Damn. Exactly. That's not up to you to decide. She could have been saved. Because they could have outvoted Yes. Okay. I'm glad they ate that steak. They got that nutrition. <laughs> Them potatoes weren't cutting with this fight. Oh, we go in there. Okay. I was just guessing. I didn't think we was gonna really get it, but okay. Uh oh. I see this in Born Supremacy. Oh boy, they played Akuma. Yeah. <laughs> Poke the eyes out. Oh, nice. nice. Great acting. Great acting, bro. <laughs> he felt that jump. Oh, shoot. 
This is the most believable fight I've seen in a very yeah. long time. Very grounded. He got a killer. Uh, uh, but very broken. This is great. Woo. Oh, shit. Watch out. Oh, and it's died. Ah. Now who's the punk? <laughs> that was a crank kick. He can't do it. He won't be able to do it. Oh! I know that shit hurt. Yes. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Oh. He's the other guy's done. Yeah. He got in there. That gristle. <laughs> he got him. And that was that was ankle bone too. Oh yeah. He, he can't he, stand he, after he got, that. Yeah. He got him. Finish him. With the knife in his hand. Finish him. Oh. Woo. Wait for it. Nah, he ain't a killer, man. He ain't a killer. He ain't gonna do that. I hope he does it. Yeah, I knew it. He ain't okay. a killer, bro. He okay. ain't a killer. He ain't a killer. He just crushed a lot. Big pun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I'm on that mode right Epic. now. Four, five, six wants to stop the game. He's giving up the prize money. Right, right here at the very edge of victory. Oh, yeah, he's human. Way. Yeah. He's human. He's a good guy. People exist like that, y'all. Yeah. Not me. I would have took the money. But yeah, I understand him. Yeah. Yeah. We've I mean, we've came too far for that money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking out. We're walking. I'm leaving with something. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got these bullet wounds and stabs and jump for nothing. Is that I'm the I'm the. His mother sick. His daughter. Get your family back, man. Wow, bigger man. <laughs> nah, not with that knife right there, huh? I was looking at that too, but like you said, he's human. He sees the good in people, man. He know what it's like to be on the edge. I respect oh. that. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> His heart can't take that, man. They fought, but they loved each other. That's his friend.
Damn. Did it, man. Oh, no, my time. God. Oh, no. shoot, bro. No. No. Also, he can't. That's not right. That ain't worth it, man. Mama, Mama gone, bro. Mama, I know what's going on. Mama gone, bro. That's. Nunchaptopa. That's sad, bro. All that. See all what that. I'm saying? Yeah, For all that. Time what, bro? For what, bro? Yeah. For what? Mama gone. All that time she was fighting for her life while he was fighting for his. She didn't make it. Oh. Freak. It's effed up, bro. We lost his friend, colleagues, people he fought side by side with. For all Long that money. Alliances and everything, yep. He's about to lose his daughter to another go to... She gone, man. Oh, man. She said she didn't answer for two days. She'd been dead for like two days, bro. While he was out there, yeah. He's, how can I say it? He's, he's weak due to what he's lost, but he's become a stronger person in the sense that he will not get attached to anything moving forward. And that's ruined his life. He's, hold up. He's stoic now. Yo, bro. I knew it. I told you that old man was, he's looking out the window right now. That's the old man, bro. <laughs> I knew it. He's been he's been behind this whole thing, bro. Got a haircut and everything. <laughs> wow. I know he's this is effed up situation, bro. He's thinking his head, you died. Never saw that body. Or number one. We saw him walking away. That was it. Mm -hmm. They showed everybody else's body but his. Yep. <laughs> Cause I couldn't cross that bridge. <laughs> he relived it. He's the only one that cared about him. Why he was having fun. He cared about him. Yeah. They became best friends. This is hard, bro. That's why he was always smiling. He didn't expect to have... He didn't expect coming in to have a friend. Right. He expected to just be... Oh, that person came back. Coincidence is savage. I 
told you old people have control of their death, bro. They go when they want. They go on their own terms. Yeah. He lived a whole year just for this moment. I'm tired. In this time. Damn. You it's like every time, every time you get close to somebody, they go. Yeah. And he finds out more information. Oh. The cobra has rise. <clears throat> I'm telling you, I think that's his son, bro. He kept talking about his wife and kid. Did his mother leave because he became mad or crazy or different? She probably left. I'm And why your hair red? Like you just yell something that. <laughs> he went after his mother. He kept his promise, man. What a fucking dope dude, man. Yeah. Yo. Oh my god. She like this can't be real. Pan it forward. Wow. All that. You better go back to that money. <laughs> the money I owed her. You don't have Fiona! to do this anymore. That was millions, bro. Yo, the show must go on, dog. Hey, I know you. He's like, you what? Show must go on. It never stops. He's savage now. Know it. Told you they be watching, bro. Just get back on the airplane, bro. Listen to what he said. Oh. 
this guy. I can't fault him though. I can't fault him. I can't even fault him. Now that's what I call a roller coaster. A storytelling man. Especially that last episode. Man, like Woo. so many uh twists and turns and so many character moments and you, you kind of feel for everybody, even the evil people. Like it was just everybody was who they were because they knew nothing else. Yeah. So it was like a one track life. Mm -hmm. This is what I had to do to survive. This is all I knew. And it got me to where I am. And then some had a falling out. Others got lucky and then others just lost, you know, cause mm -hmm. they were not good gamblers. Yeah. It, it's crazy. Like, I think the moral theme of the show is like, you know, there's a price for everything. Mm -hmm. Nothing's free. Even yeah. even when you win, you still kind of lose in a sense. Yeah. Being going to the I think Forgive me, y'all. I it's a lot going on. You know, this show was very intense. I had a lot of fun watching this show, man. Oh yeah. Just from being into into the the horror, the gore, the yeah. drama, the comedy, the ragtag adventures. I, it's just a lot in this show and understanding the main character and for that split second, putting yourself in that main character's shoes. I'm telling you, like, it's 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 a roller coaster, man. You just watch 450, I say 448 people die because I think like eight people or something like that, six, something Quit. like that quit. Dropped out, yeah. But you watch them die and to, to know that you you watch a little you watch a young girl get killed by your friend you watch your friend like take people out because he had to quote unquote yeah. he had to but morality they weren't raised that way right and to watch your friend take his own life because he knew he couldn't beat you and then now you have all this money and you question yourself like is it really worth it you go home to get the comfort that you 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 need right now from your mother she's no longer with us yeah. now you're just lost you don't have your kid you don't have your your girl you you don't have nothing but all this money because money the to me the the moral of the story is money can't buy you love or happiness you whatever you got it, it, it's just there it's material things granted yeah. it, it's financially can take care of you but is that really worth your happiness but it runs thin right to a degree yeah and to see the heartbreak to gain that money that's why the old man was like yo i that was on y'all to play the game yeah i didn't tell y'all i didn't say y'all had to didn't force y'all y'all played the game not once did he talk about money either of he course just, not he had it yeah and and he said it like yo like when you're to the, when you're on the top yo you know you get bored yeah and 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 I'm glad this show came out now. And that's why the people that were running the game were kind of in that same situation. They looked at the people that they were watching going against each other, not as humans, but contestants. And if you, and if you go back to our reaction, I, I hope you guys watched our reaction, not just this episode, but go back and watch our reactions. Yeah, please. I say something them. that I believe is in episode seven when I say, oh, they on that rich stuff right there. Because dude is so rich, he's just like, yo, man, I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to sleep with this guy. I don't have nothing to lose. I honestly don't even believe, like, I think people, when they get to a certain cloud in, of, of richness, they get bored. And they just do things. Do things because they can yeah. and can't get in trouble for it. And a lot of stuff is wrong. And they just buy their way out of it. They yeah. buy their way out of it. Yeah. You know, like, for instance, Scream. Yeah. Screen part one. Like, yeah. we like, yo, I think, I think, uh, what was, uh, old boy's still alive. Yeah. His parents had money. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it gets to those point uh, in their life where I understand the old man. I understand him. And I also know what he did was and wrong. That's where the power comes in, too. Yeah. But did he do anything wrong or did he give the opportunity for wrongness and evil stuff to occur? He and, gave the opportunity. And that is wrong. Yeah. Because. It's like when you become paid in full for the wrong reasons is when your happiness is, is uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, um, compromised. 
and you see all these businessmen, they go to school, they do all this to get paid in full. And then now they're not happy. They don't like their 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 wife, their kids. They're just they're just there. accepting and going with the motions. They're stuck. It's crazy. But Squid Game did something that I have not seen most shows do, and it shows how people are when they're put in circumstances and they change. Because at the end of the day, everybody's made mistakes. Yeah. But they were brought to this game thinking that they were going to do great things and have money and come home. But then come to find out that they became the monsters that was already there within them. But the game unlocked it. Because, you know, some were good people, some were con artists. But it was a challenge to show who are you really and what kind of person are you going to become to be now. Yeah. Because you're not going to be the same when you join Squid Game. Yeah. They did not know this going in. They thought like, oh, it's a game. We're going to be a contestant. The, the, the thought was money. That was it. That was, that was the motivation. Poor but motivation. But the consequence, they, they completely forgot about all those human behaviors, the consequences, the rules, the morale. Like you said, all that went out the window. So when they signed up to that game, they became those monsters that they hated. Yep. Yeah. The people that and it's prey on them. Because it was like, it was, it was like a blind choice. They weren't told that. Granted, I understand why most of them went there yeah. for financial security. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the effort they put in for those games that was so hard, they fight for their life. They should have put those efforts in reality. Yeah. And they would have been well off and happier by the results. I ain't gonna lie, man. I learned a lot from this show, man. And, and uh, the number, other number one question is how much do you value life? And others' lives, and how how far are you willing to go to help somebody? Yeah, and yeah. and, and there's a lot of great themes in the show. You you learn. I learned a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I want to be financially secure for the rest of my life. Yes, I do. One hundred. But I also want to be happy. But and you don't want to hurt nobody to get there. Yeah, you know I, I, I I I would taking never somebody you know taking taking advantage yeah. of people, yeah. you know, stealing and and hurting others to get your way just for a couple of dollars and stuff, it's not worth it. No, not at it's all. It's not worth it because at the end of the day, you have to go to sleep and close your eyes and you will think of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a conscious thing. Now. It was another thing. Uh, episode seven, I think it opens the door for a lot when old boy said, just give me five minutes. If you can get me off in five minutes, I'll make your life, you, you know, yeah. something you'll never forget again. Yeah. And, you know, it, it basically showed how people sell their souls for riches or, yeah. or just for a dollar. And I'm glad the show came out early in this year because i think the pandemic that we all endured this whole this global um virus uh i learned a lot and this world opened the door for a lot of people in their homes and i was just talking to my friend about this earlier and i was like you know due to the pandemic people found out who they really were yeah when you were forced to stay in a home i enjoyed my family how many people have these guys that stay in, stay outside. They don't never go home. They run away from situations. They run away from their loved ones, their kids, life. They go to bars, drink, get drunk, get high, smoke, cheat, do everything they could possibly do to escape reality. Yeah. But when you're forced to stay in a house, do you really enjoy your, pay, your place of where you lay? I make sure that my bedroom is made for my bedroom. My bedroom's only for sleeping, occasionally watching programming with my loved one. And just relaxing. Yeah. It is not a, a place of eating and just laying. No, 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 no. That's for the kitchen. I, I'm an energy-focused person. And I enjoyed my family during the pandemic. I enjoyed my home. It's my sanctuary. Yeah. A lot of people didn't. And this show shows it. Yeah. These, these, you, you, didn't, you couldn't even appreciate where you stayed. You laid your head, bro. Like, we got to be better as people, man. Oh, that's all I got, man. I don't want to even say too much because I want to do a review on this. But, yeah, man, this is yeah. one lucky day. Damn. I kind of want to save it for the review, too. I, I'm, oh, man, I'm trying so hard not to cry. Like, it's crazy, bro. I, a couple I think, tears dropped in this one, man. It was, yeah. It was effed up, bro. I'm sorry, man. Forgive me. I don't like crying in front of no dudes. Great storytelling. I, I Actually, it, I had some in my eye. <laughs> no, nah, it's all good, man. I think they're going to appreciate that because we was really invested. Um, The, the writing in the show is uh, really phenomenal, man. Like, I, I got attached to everybody, and uh, that doesn't happen too often. And then the way the show is presented with the whole Squid Game and the, the, the life or death, it was it was still a lot of heart at the end of it, at the end of the day, because these are real people, and uh, you understand that the odds are not on their side and that the odds were not in their favor. 
and that they had to make uncompromising decisions in order to get this money that they so desperately needed. And it was like horrible seeing them kind of go at each other like that. Entertaining. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. You know what I mean? So it's like, dang, this the person that they love and kind of bonded with may not make it. But I, I got a big check for it, but it's like, dang, all right, I guess. And 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 it's set up. And it's still continuing. So four hundred and fifty eight more people are gonna die. I got a question to ask you though, before we get up out of here. Hypothetically speak, let's say. But it could be a different kind of game, though. Well, hear me out. Hear me out. They never said multiple people couldn't win. Right. Because remember in the beginning of Squid Game, yeah. there were teams. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Hypothetically speak. Could the rules like change? The like, rules have to change for everyone to have a value to be able to win. To keep it fresh and original. To keep it fresh. Yeah. So, based on teamwork, All right. which I believe every game revolved around teamwork, even the bridge, we spoke on this. Yeah, we did. Could have worked on teamwork. All right. You could have helped one another, but people were greedy, and they didn't know how to work with each other. Every last one of those people could have survived that bridge. Yeah. Too many questions. But they were so individually thinking. Yeah. And so greedy. That's why. They didn't see the bigger picture. And I think there was a hint, and I'm just going on my own theory. In the beginning of the show, when they said, we give up, we want to go home, he said, okay, well, if you do this, the money will be split among those and their, lo- their loved ones who passed away. Yeah. All, and they all worked together and voted to, to not continue. Yeah. I feel like, let's say it was what, 16 people, right, on the bridge. Yeah. What if 14 of them survived? That's right? possible. Yeah. They never said you could go one by one. No. You could pass each other up. The guy who had the skill to see the glass. Was the link. Yeah. He was only helping because he was afraid he was going to die. Yeah. By the others. Desperate measures. He had the skill and the tactics. The guy who can mathematically count the jump steps and everything. He had the skills. Yeah. And, and this goes back to what I said. So. That's a good point. His life was compromised. He felt it. Granted, like, well, granted somebody was going to die. Yeah. But what I'm saying is there could have been more than one winner. Because and you have an offense. Skills got taken advantage of. You had an offense and you had a defense. Yeah. If, you had a, if, if at the end of the game you had a five versus five. Strength, intellectual, muscle, and then the brains. Yeah. You but know, I'm talking about those. the inner squid game. You could team up. Yeah. And whoever wins that. That's the end of the game. Y'all have to split that pot of money. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Like, I think These there was more to it. They didn't think like that. They didn't think like that. They yeah. thought about themselves. And that's why your boy said, yo, you and old girl would have teamed up. Y'all could have canceled the game. They were going to, but yeah. It's crazy. All right, man. That's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Hope you oh, guys yeah. enjoyed the discussion. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and push that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, Hit us up on Instagram and Twitter. All the above. I want to thank everybody who's joined us for this epic Squid Game journey. I hope we get a season two that opens the door for more. I think they do. Yeah, it's very left open. I, 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 I'm I 100% invested. Can't wait to watch that if it does happen. Um, I'm J3. Run a Shogun. Ninja Assassin. I'm I can't here, do man. it. It's too much. It's too much. I can't, nah, I, I can't do nothing, man. You're good, man. Uh. We endure Squid Game. Yeah. <laughs> Let's rest on the I feel way. like I was there, bro. <laughs> right? I'm like, my energy's I, gone. It was like that final fight in uh, Ray 2. I was tired afterwards. Yeah. 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 For no reason. Exhausted. Well, there's a reason, but visually and yeah. yeah. It, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Same applies here. That's yeah. great content. Right? <laughs> 100,000 subscribers. We coming.